So I think this video might be a bit provoking, thought provoking. I hope at least it is. Um, and it's about average life expectancy. Um, before I go into this, I want to disclose that I'm an extremely privileged person. At least I experience myself as extremely privileged. Um, <clears throat> I just want to acknowledge this because I feel that, um, you know, we should always be aware of this and we should always be, um, or I want to be aware of this and I want to um, deal with the responsibility that grows from this privilege. Because if I have the possibility to do something that somebody else does not have to do, like for example, I have the possibility to ob observe the world as good as I can and, and wrap my head around things and try to figure out stuff and ways and solutions for, for our community. Um, that is because I happen to live in a place where there is food available on the dumpsters. I happen to be able to live off grid, right? So I have less need to, to work um, for money um, and I have time. So just wanted to acknowledge this privilege and going back to life expectancy. So frankly, I, I'm wondering, is 10 more years enough for me? I'm soon turning 43 and I'm, I'm wondering like, what's wrong with 53? The global average life expectancy is currently about 70 years. That means there are areas like here in this place that our species calls Finland, where the average life expectancy is well above 70 years. And there are places where it is well below 70 years. And there are places where it is exactly 70 years. So not too long time ago, um, I didn't look it up, but I suspect something less than 100 years ago, the average life expectancy in this place that our species called Finland was exactly 70 years also. So imagine you're living in a society where people on average die on 70. So if somebody dies at 80 or 85, those people you would say like, wow, they got really old. And I remember that like there was some, when somebody got 89 or 80 something, it was like really old. Um, and if somebody died before 70, let's say die was 50, you would say, well, they died, you're really young. Um, nowadays, here in this place, where our life expectancy average is well above 70, if somebody dies at 70, we would say, oh, they died young, which not long ago, we wouldn't think that they died young. So it's always a very much a matter of perspective. Um, what I'm somehow s puzzling, wondering about is why do we attach average life expectancy, a high leverage, uh, average life expectancy to our ideas of wealth? So obviously, if you have improvement in the health system, you can expect um, that less children die, you have improvement in work safety, um, all these things that will will raise the average life expectancy so usually what we would consider a good life um, what however happens at the same time is that at least here in in play in the in finland um, is we basically bought our fancy health system or previous generations and still we do now by selling our biodiversity and the, the, the variety of footprints that comes with our average, high average life expectancy, the footprints are so high um, that the price we ultimately pay is, um, a, a, again, a, a, like a lower average life expectancy and ultimately the, the extinction of our species and the suffering of so many other species that we heavily depend on. So basically, like, we sold the biodiversity of our forest, sold all the wood, like, you know, this is what Finland is doing. Like now we have a lot of like forestry land uh, where people might call it forest, um, but 
if you have seen a real real forest and what happens between the trees then you wouldn't call those forests so easily so we have sold this biodiversity for a relatively high life expectancy of a few generations of one species um, and obviously for the price that uh, we are losing biodiversity and we have climate change and we have um, poverty inequalities we have conflicts um, so the, the price is really really high so what I'm wondering in my own life is like do I even want to get that old also I should always think like is my life and my lifestyle is it more of the benefit or is it more of a problem for the global community of life because if I feel that I'm having more impact than benefit then I and 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 at at the same time living a lifestyle that qualifies me for actually being in some kind of involuntary suicide then I should wonder like is my life how can I justify to be um, and, and that way I feel like I need to work on having positive impact look at my handprints look at my footprints and when I think about like the footprints of people on this planet where the average life expectancy is exactly 70 years then I wonder like how is it possible that their environmental footprints the variety of their footprints is so much lower than ours here because yeah it's not out of choice right they have they are under pressure and do not have the possibilities to go I don't know traveling and driving around with cars and doing you know buying consuming as we do here or others here do uh, not so much um, <clears throat> but I'm wondering like how do they do it and what can we adopt because what is wrong with 70 first of all like I can be you know if I die tomorrow like yeah I've had a really good life I think I've had a meaningful life so I would die kind of happily uh, still I feel like I, I still want to be around a bit and, and be active and do things and and um, try to change the world save the world um, but I'm wondering like yeah if I get you know 10 more years that would be cool like so I think I would be very happy to trade you know a few decades of my average life expectancy um, if it comes with a lower footprint and less suffering for the rest of life so that's it I thought I want to share this with you um, have a good time love you Bye-bye. Tell me what you think. Comment, subscribe, share.